Well, it definitely feels like everyone is sick right now. Mm. We have some sick people here right mm. now, though. A lot of people still going to work. Others feel fine, but they're calling out, you know, burn through that sick time that's still remaining. Well, it turns out your philosophy on sick days might be based on your age. In tonight's Question Everything, should you use all your sick time? It is a special time of year, the most wonderful, some say. Trees, lights, Santa. I can only think of a few words, and they are sick days. In most cases, you got to use them before you lose them. Do you feel guilty when you call in sick? No, not at all. On a recent morning, I spoke with workers of all ages who seem to prove sick time statistics that I'm going to show you in a moment. First up, Diana White, an experienced worker who worries about taking heat for calling out with a cold. They want us to have that benefit, but if we take it, then it's like you called in sick. So So you feel the pressure to I get to work. Pressure to get to work. And then there's young Jesse Barrowette. She feels no guilt taking a sick day for a mental health break. Jesse says it's a generational thing. You, you're not gonna do your work effectively because you're not in a good mood. Whereas us old people. We don't understand. Yeah, the mindset is like, just work through it. Yeah. Which transitions nicely to those sick time statistics I promised. According to one study, about a third of workers aged 25 to 34 have taken sick time this year. And that age group is the most likely to use their sick days. And post-pandemic, younger workers are putting a premium on physical and mental health taking 45% more sick time now than in 2019. You were sick last week, weren't you? I was. You didn't take a sick day? Nope, I worked. So you're guilty too. Do as I say, not as I do. David Turetsky is the Chief awesome. Human Resource Officer at Salary.com, a company that studies all kinds of workplace trends. He yep. believes attitudes towards sick time are shifting. Do you think that the younger generation feels a little more comfortable calling in sick when they're just not feeling well or perhaps they're not in a good headspace. I don't think the kids these days actually have a problem being honest and saying, I'm sick, I'm not coming in, which that honesty is refreshing because if they're not in the right headspace, their productivity will suffer. Whereas us older folks, we feel that fear of either missing out or that fear of, well, if I don't do it, then they're going to find someone else to do it. About a quarter of all workers now have a hybrid schedule, which adds a whole new twist to the debate over sick time. If you wake up in the morning and you feel terrible, do you still call out if your desk is your couch? I asked hybrid workers on social media about sick time. Every single person said they use even fewer sick days now. I heard, I work through it more. I can sit on a computer with a stuffy nose. I can attend meetings and take naps in between. Coughing on my keyboard doesn't pose a threat to my coworkers. But is that attitude really healthy? What about for people who work at home? Because there is this feeling of, come on, you can get out of bed. You just have to walk over to the couch, open up the laptop. So from a sick time perspective, we usually do soldier on through. And even if we're sick, we'll be on those conference calls, we'll probably be on mute when we're coughing or sneezing, but we're still gonna be there. And that's not a good thing, because we need to heal. And no matter if you're Gen Z or a boomer, in office or at home, the I need to burn my sick days by the end of the year sick call <laughs> is not a good idea. Being honest is nothing to sneeze at. Have a conversation with your boss. Ask your boss, Plainly, honestly, I'm not sick right now, but I have some time banked. Can I take it alongside my vacation time? I thought that was one of the most interesting yeah. perspectives. Ask your manager, is it okay if I take a few sick days because I still have them? And if you're being honest, you have to be prepared if the answer is no. Yeah. You're disappointed and maybe get a sniffle. What he said is, don't do this. <coughs> Right. Fake it. <laughs> right. Because he says you don't want to get that call on Christmas that you've been fired. Exactly. That's a bad, bad thing. If you have a question you want answered, let us know. Send an email to questioneverything at cbsboston.com and we'll be right back.